Hello everyone, it's Cameron. Welcome to another vinyl update. Now today we're going to have a vinyl update 40. This is the 40th one. Quite a big number in vinyl updates. Uh, today I'm going to have a lot of books, CDs, singles, DVDs and albums as well. So we've got a lot to get through, a lot to show. Uh, might be a long video, but the, uh, we've got a lot of good stuff. We've got a little, There's a lot of Elvis stuff, but there's a lot of other stuff in here. Like We've got a couple of Beatles, and we've got Beatles related stuff. We have... Um, we have a couple of uh, some Roy Orbison CDs to show. We have um, things like we have some Beatles soul stuff, Elvis, um, Johnny Cash. Uh, yeah, we've got quite a lot to show. So I'm going to start with the books. I was mentioning this in my last one, I forgot, but it's Dino. It's a book about Dean Martin, Living High in the Dirty Business of Dreams by Nick. Toshes. My mum found this book in the library and it was just on and it was just for free so that I thought I would get it, so I did. Um, it's released in the 1990s. Uh, I do quite like a bit of Dean Martin. Um, not a favourite of mine, not one where I'd want to get like his entire discography or studio albums or maybe a greatest hits would do me, but it's nice to have this book. Um, um, I know that Dean was very popular amongst Franks and like Dean was very popular within the music world, you know, he was like, although he was a crooner. Um, like Frank Sinatra and uh, things like that, but um, yeah, you can't go wrong. He's got a lot of good music. I will admit, Dean Martin. Uh, so yeah, there's that book. Next one I found in a charity shop, and it's uh, Careless Love: The Unmaking of Elvis Presley. This is by Peter Gurulink. If that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is the second volume of a two-part Elvis Presley biography. I know there's the first one, Last Train to Memphis, which I do not yet have. I'm still on the lookout for Last Train to Memphis, but I will hopefully get a copy of that. Um, if you open the cover, it makes a full picture like that. Um, this goes from 1958 until his passing in 1977, whereas I think Last Train to Memphis was from um, um, in the early days up to when he like makes it over to when he gets into the army. Um, so um, yeah, cool to have this book. This book is uh, was originally issued in 1999, but this is the 2005 Index Edition. So um, nice to have that one. Now my mum got me this one from the library. Uh, again, it's not one from the library, but it's one the library got in, and then they just gave out the, the book books. Um, bit of a bleak one, I know, but Elvis the final years, and you can tell by the picture on the cover, it's mm, a bit of a grim, bleak. Read, um, but um, it's, it's nice to have. This book was issued in 19. It's quite an old book actually. It was issued in 1981. This is 1981. So yeah, um, so yeah, uh, it's nice to have this one. You know, even if it's a bit grim, but yeah, not too bad to have. Okay, now the CDs. So my mum got this one. They're drawn from the library. White Snake, Good to Be Bad. This is their 2008 album. I don't have too much White Snake on CD. Uh, I've got quite a bit on vinyl, but I don't have much on CD. So this is nice to have. I know quite, quite a lot of their live albums are difficult to get hold of because they're not on eBay and they go for high prices. But if I find any cheap White Snake CDs or White Snake CDs for a good price, yeah, they're good. I do, do really like White Snake. I saw them live last year. This one I got from my socket record shop. Bruce Springsteen, the E Street Band, Greatest Test. It's a bit of a collector's item. Now, I know I have all these songs on different on all their albums, but this sticker down here says 2009 limited tour edition, so this must be a collector's thing. And it was cheap, so I thought, yeah, I might as well pick it up since it's since it's cheap. And you have a couple of bonus live tracks at the bottom as well, Because the Night and Fire, which were both from the live 1975 to 1985 box set, and were both songs that Bruce had done on the Darkness Art sessions, but never put them on the album. So yeah, cool to have that one. I saw my grand found these two from the charity shop. Uh, Roy Orbison Live in Alabama. Now, I've seen this one before, but I've never actually in person, so it's good to have this one with a nice cover. And I know I already got a copy of this, but my grand said, oh, you can just take it. It's The Beach Boys, 20 Golden Greats. Now, I have a copy of this one, but I might give away my other copy to the, um, the charity shop. But I think this might be a different copy to the other one I have, so who knows. Okay, these two I got from the Sockets record shop. Now these are both part of the same album. Elvis from In Person at the International Hotel and Back in Memphis. These are part of the From Memphis to Vegas albums. So I want to get the CDs of them. Both really good albums. These are part of a series called The Original Elvis Present Collection. And this is number 32. This is number 33.
So this box, this, and uh, this one I got in a charity shop. Elvis, the all-time greatest. I've got this on vinyl, so on CD, it was quite cheap, so you have to get it. Even has the uh, original price on it of 18.99, but it was a pound, so got a good one there. Um, so yeah, nice to have this one in CD. And this one I got on eBay. Um, Elvis, no Amazon, I think. Elvis, today, tomorrow, and forever. This is a four CD box set of studio material, live tracks, many of them previously unreleased performances. Uh, spanning Elvis's career from 1954 until 1976. And there's all the tracks there. This has like a lot of live stuff as well. Stuff from like 1956 in Little Rock, Arkansas. Some of the Vegas stuff as well. It has alternate studio outtakes of um, things like I Want You, I Need You, I Love You, Are You Lonesome Tonight, I Need Your Love Tonight. Love letters, um, indescribably blue. Where do I go from here? And there's even some of the live Vegas stuff from '69 and '70 as well. That's a great picture. And there's even a million dollar quartet song on here as well. So there's the discs. There's one and two, and three and four. Now those other. I know there's another Elvis box set called Close Up, which I'd like to get hold of um, as well. So there's a lot of great stuff in here. I've only had the first two discs so far, but there's a lot of really good stuff in this set. Uh, I got this from my soccer record shop, Roy Orbison, The Legend. I had this years ago, um, but uh, not in the case anymore. So um, there we go. A bit hard to get over now, but yeah, I'm trying to replace a lot of some CDs I had years ago that weren't. I was young, well, I was young, so I. Uh, but I f uh, this is actually in the wrong wrong part. Uh, this should be a bit early, I think. But um, Elton John, Red Strikes Back. I got this on vinyl, so I thought I'd get it on CD. I had no idea the vinyl was difficult to get hold of until just the guy in my record shop told me it was difficult to get hold of on vinyl. But I have got it on vinyl. I've had it for years on vinyl. I wanted to get it on CD. And I'm actually seeing Elton John in concert in June at the Hydro, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I've never seen this one before, but I have heard of it. The Paul Simon Anthology, two disc set from 1993. So, just thought I would pick it up because it was quite cheap. Oh, <laughs> something like that. So, there's that one. These are the tracks there. A lot of these I don't think have appeared in other compilation albums, so this is interesting to see. I think there's some Simon and Garfunkel. The first six songs are Simon and Garfunkel material, and the rest are Paul Simon material. But there's a, another version of Sounds of Silence, but I think it's a live version of the Sounds of Silence from the Central Park album in '91. So, yeah, interesting. These. F oh, there's one in the wrong. wrong bit. Uh, these four I got from the large charity shops when I was there just recently. Elvis Presley Love Songs. Never seen this one before, so I thought I would get it because it was quite cheap and I'd never seen it before, so I thought I would thought I'd pick it up, open it up like that. Has a lot of quite uh, interesting stuff. I mean, you've got that Someone You Never Forget, which is from the Potluck album, uh, which is one of my favourite Elvis ballads. Uh, Separate Ways, which I don't have on a CD before. You Gave Me a Mountain, which is, I think it's a different version. I think it's from the Vegas 7, February 72 engagement. Um, so, yeah. Interesting to find that one. This came out in 1998, so never seen or heard of it before. I know a bit early, but it was cheap. Elvis Christmas Peace. This is like um, a CD of Elvis's Christmas songs, and there's actually a two disc deluxe version with his gospel material as well as his Christmas songs, which I might try and get hold of the double disc versions. So um, yeah, see we've got this wee paper as well. It's a picture of Elvis. Yeah, I know it's a bit early to be showing Christmas stuff, but it was cheap, so I thought I'd pick it up. This was another cheap one, I've never seen this before either. Elvis Hound Dog, and this says down there, recorded live at the Louisiana Hayride, 1958. I thought that'd be interesting to pick up because I don't have that much live 50s material, and especially the Louisiana Hayride was when Elvis sort of got noticed and sort of kind of his first big live performances were kind of like the Louisiana Hayride in the 50s. And we have Roy Orbison, the best of his rare classics. I had this one again years ago, from 1991, so yeah, nice to get that one again. He's next one I got on eBay, Moody Blue, one of my favourite Elvis albums. I got it on vinyl once, getting CD again, so I did. Oh, the K. 
case is a bit sort of broken, unfortunately. It's even got a sticker there, Elvis Arsenal the Century. It's got the original HMV sticker on it, which is quite interesting for $9.99. Well, it's a lot less than eBay. Then Elvis in Concert, which I have the vinyl of again. This is the 1993 edition. The only time it's ever been out on CD since its original release on vinyl, I know it's on Spotify, but it's never had like a deluxe treatment or anything like that. I, don't, I doubt that'll happen due to the fact that this was recorded in Elvis' final tour. And the kind of the estate tend to ignore that kind of period of Elvis' life, oh, in a way. Next I got from my Adrosson charity shop, Bob Dylan and the band, Before the Flood Live, double CD. I know the double vinyl as well. Um, I know it's a double vinyl as well, so double CD as well, so yeah. Don't even have this one on vinyl, so that's good to get the first time. And this one I've never seen before. The very best of Art Garfunkel across America. And this is actually a live album in 1996, so I wasn't too sure what it was, but then I checked the tracks and it says recorded live and realised, oh, it's actually a live album. So, yeah, thought I'd pick it up. It has uh, him singing a lot of his solo material, some singing Simon and Garfunkel songs. So yeah, um, really interesting to have that one now, there. It's got a nice cover on the front. Another Elvis one, I found this cheap in the charity shop. Elvis Presley Live. Don't know too much about this one, but again, it was cheap. Um, has a lot of 50s material in here, so it might be a 50s recording as well. Maybe in Louisiana here, I don't know. And this is actually the normal, but I found this in a Stevenson charity shop for 30 pence. Dino, the essential Dean Martin. This is a 30 track compilation. I think I have all I need on Dean Martin. I've got two best of vinyls. I'm still waiting for a volume one to find the volume one of it, but um, of one of them. But this is all I need in terms of a CD. This is this will do me good. This has a lot of good ones. The hits you want from Dean Martin. That's Amore. Memories are made of this. Little old wine drinker me. So I'm covered with Dean Martin. I have all I want on Dean Martin in terms of CDs. And I found this in my Drossen Charity Shop as well. Oasis, the Go Let It Out CD single. Quite cheap, 20p. So I thought, I get it. It's got Go Let It Out, Let's All Make Believe, and As Long As They've Got Cigarettes in Hell. <laughs> An unusual song title there. See, I do quite like Oasis. They're, they're, they're a great band. These next two I got from the Deborah and Saul quotes, but a different day. The Drifters. The very best of, up on the roof, the very best of the Drifters, this is a 2011 compilation. Got a double LP of the Drifters, want to get a Drifters CD great hits, so again I'm now covered in the Drifters on CD. And this is an upgrade CD uh, that I got today, the Definitive Ray Charles. Now I have this one, but the last two tracks on disc one when I copied them to the computer, I found out they were scratched and unplayable. So I got a replacement upgrade to upgrade and replace those two tracks, so now I can get rid of my other copy of that CD. So. Nice to find this one. And again, this is all I need on Ray Charles. His hits do me good. And this one I got for my Soccer Record Shop today. Never seen it before in CD, but I've got this in vinyl. Foreigner Records. Because it has this has a live version of Hot Blooded, which is on the vinyl version as well. Um, so yeah, good to have this CD. Okay, the DVDs. Now, some of these DVDs I did show on my channel before when I did my Elvis DVD film finds, so I'm just gonna go through them very quick. But the first one I got for my Soccer Record Shop, Elvis 56. This is a documentary about um, uh, Elvis's like first sort of the year that he got in, known nationwide, and there's a lot of like TV appearances and a lot of footage from that that year. So um, good to have that one. Now these DVDs I'm going to go over quick because I didn't show one of them because it wasn't an Elvis one, but the Elvis films I'm going to go over quick because I've shown them before on the channel. If you want to see me go over them in more detail, then you can go back to one of my previous videos. So I'm just going to show them real quick. We have loving you. King Creole, Kid Galahad, Girls, 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 I don't have a soundtrack album for this yet, like I say. Funny Al Capone, this one I've watched, and this one was quite a good watch. I will love it. Roustabout, Paradise Hawaiian Style, and Speedway. So that was all for the DVDs. This one I didn't get. I got it on the same day, but it wasn't an Elvis one. Queen and Paul Rogers live in Ukraine. Double CD with a DVD. Never, quite cheap, so I thought, yeah, I'd pick it up. It just opens up like that. Get we book as well. So yeah, good to have that one, quite cheap. Okay, that's what's done over the CDs and DVDs. Now we're gonna go over to the, the vinyl side of things. 
Okay, I got this in my socket record shop one day. Meatloaf, I'd do anything for love, but I won't do that single. This was one of his, this was his big comeback hit in 1993, so I thought I'd get the 45. B-side is Back Into Hell on the Virgin label. Big number one single, that. Now, he had a lot of Elvis Presley 45s, which he didn't know they were, they were but I found them. <laughs> Clever me. And then I managed to get them. Um, Blue Moon, B-side is Just Because. This is a... RCA Gold Standard reissue. Marie's the name, his latest flame. Little sister. Good luck charm. With anything that's a part of you, RCA. And this is really quite a rare thing. You don't see this picture sleeve too often, but it's really nice to find one in a picture sleeve. Don't cry daddy. Sleeve's a bit tatty. The B side is rubber necking. This picture sleeve was used quite a lot of times during Elvis's uh, late 60s, early 70s singles. So it's nice to find one of these picture sleeves. Uh, wait, wait a second, I know what I'm saying. Yep. Always on my mind. Back to a separate ways. Polk Saladani. CC Rider. Which are songs that Elvis would play in concert a lot in the 70s. It's Midnight. Back to Promised Land. This is a USA single. These are all UK. I just can't help believing and how the web was woven. Green Green Grass of Home is covered the Tom Jones song, I think. And Thinking About You. Suspicion, which originally was released on Potluck. Back with It's a Long and Lonely Highway. And these are all the Elvis singles on songs I got from the non-Elvis singles that I got from the Socks Record Shop. Billy Connolly and the Brownies, a bit of com comedy novelty record, kind of parodying the village people a bit, with Woke Up This Morning on the B-side. Paul McCartney Press, and on the B-side is It's Not True. The Jacksons, Heartbreak Hotel, a nice picture sleeve. And the B-side song is Different Kind of Lady, which I don't think I've heard that song, but it's on the blue label. This is really nice, and it's Captain Sleeve. The Jacksons, lovely one. And the B-side things I do for you. Found this one in my Adrosson charity shop for 50p, which was really good. Elvis Heartbreak Hotel on the Maximilian series with Don't Be Cruel and Hound Dog on the B-side. Or sorry, Hound Dog and Don't Be Cruel on the B-side. So nice to have that one. Can't Fight This Feeling by REO Speedwagon and Rock and Roll Star on the other side. This was in my Sockets record shop. Never thought I'd get this one. I found this in my Jocelyn Charity shop one day as well. Paul Simon, me and Julio down by the schoolyard. Congratulations. Oh, that's in the wrong order. I got these three from my soccer record shop one day when I was down there. Um, at a different time though. Love Letters, Elvis Presley, 1966. Come what may. That's one of my favourite Elvis records, that Love Letters. The Rolling Stones, Come On, their first single with I Want To Be Loved. Brian May, Too Much Love Will Kill You. Back to it, I'm Scared. On Parlophone, 1992. And this one I just got today, another Always On My Mind by Elvis Presley. But this has a different song on the B-side, Tomorrow Night. This is 1985 re-release, I think. There we are. So that's that one. Now I'm going to go over the albums. Okay, so this one I got at the time of my last vinyl update, but I decided to wait until... Um, but I decided um, that I wasn't going to record it without the... the the vinyl, so I'd have to leave it for the next vinyl update, but here it is. Paul McCartney, Chaos and Creation in the Backyard. This is a really great album. This was originally released in 2005. This is one of my favourite Paul albums. I like Fine Line, Jenny Wren, How Kind of You, English Tea, At the Mercy, Follow Me. Um, this is a really great album, my favourite Paul McCartney albums. This is, the, as it says in the sticker, the 2018 edition. I had been thinking of getting it for years, but I never got around to getting it to it, but eventually I thought, well, I might as well pick it up, let's get it, and so I did. But it's nice, it's not, it doesn't replicate the original, because the original was a gatefold. This is the uh, insert, that I think it's similar to the CD, and there's a picture of Paul there. It replicates the original vinyl really nicely. And when you turn it upside down, it says Paul McCartney's name as well. That's also the same with the CD version, because I've had this in the CD for years now, and... Managed to get it on vinyl now, which is good. One Paul McCartney album I would love to get on vinyl is Kisses on the Bottom, his jazz album, his jazz covers album from 2012. But that's really difficult to get hold of. I'm hoping that they'll reissue that and also re-release Memory Almost Full, because that's another one of my favourite Paul McCartney um, 
albums is Memory Almost Full from 2007, so I hope that gets reissued as well. These two I got from my Socrates record shop one day. Um, Elvis, How Great Thou Art. This is a stereo copy. Not mono, but stereo, but I'll take stereo on it. A really great album, I really enjoyed this one. It's got a nice cover, I really like that picture. Um, like the title track, um, Crying in the Chapel, When No One Stands Along, um, Further Along, it's great. Yeah, a lot of great songs of this record. Really enjoyed this album. This was released in 1967, and this is an original. But that's not the original in a sleeve. But it is on the uh, Red Spot RCA label, an original, in good shape. And it was quite cheap as well, it was £7, which was quite good. This album. And it plays really well as well. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't mind a bit of gospel. Me personally, I'm not religious, like I've probably said before, but I did really enjoy this record. I thought it was a really, I really enjoyed it. It was a really good, um, a really good album. Um, oh, can't do it. Won't go back in. Why won't it go back in? Oh, yeah, that'll do. There we go. There we go. Sometimes these things can be quite hard to get in. And this, the next one I got on the same day is that one, the Beatles in the Beatle interviews. And I think I have something like this one. Uh, but I think this is the original pressing of it though, because my one's a 1984 repress with a black cover. This one, I think is the original version on Everest Records. This has interviews from '64 and '66. Um, in Canada and America, so um, it's nice to have this one. Um, there we are, Everest, like I say. So yeah, it's got a nice picture, so I thought, yeah, I'd pick it up. Um, I'd never seen it, this cover before, so I thought I would pick it up. But I did have this album with a black and white picture of the Beatles on a black cover. I know I do have it in my uh, Beatles cabinet, so I can't really get to that. These next three Elvis ones I got on another day, and they're all originals, and they're all in great condition. So the first one up is Elvis, or also known as The Fool Album, 1973. A great album, I like the title track. I Where Did I Go From Here is one of my favourites. Um, love Me The Life I Lead. Love Me Love The Life I Lead. Um, I'll Take Home Again, Kathleen. Yeah, a lot of great ones of this album. I really enjoyed this one. Again, nice cover. This one is a, uh, and I've got both those albums as well in the back, I shall put out. This one is a UK cover. But the record itself is Canadian. Not sure what that's all about, but I do have another Elvis one like this one. But again, it's nice to nice to have this one. It's in great condition, plays well all the way through. And the, yeah, probably one of my favourite Elvis albums, this one. Along with Potlock and Moody Blue and the Rock and Roll number two. And even from Elvis and Memphis as well. Um, so yeah, probably one of my favourites Elvis albums. Full, 1973, or just called Elvis. Next one is Promised Land, 1975. Nice to have this one. Um, I know the title track, and that's really kind of all I know from this album. Um, but this isn't an original pressing either. This is a on the Blue Elvis label, Blue RCA Elvis label. So yeah. by the back, it's got all those albums as well. That one I still don't have, but the other three I do. So it's quite fun to point out which ones you've got, which ones you haven't. But on the American copies of Promised Land, uh, that album wasn't on there. The talking album, Having Fun With Elvis On Stage, was on it instead. Why was that there? I do not know. But I haven't heard that album personally, so I can't comment. And this one's in really great neck as well. This is Today. Elvis Today. 1975 again. Don't know too much about this one. Um, I know And I Love You So because he plays that on the Elvis in Concert album. Um, the rest I don't know. This is the back with all the albums. And it's on the orange label and original pressing. So yeah, these are all in great condition and they're all really good price, all seven pounds, which I thought was really good. So yeah, nice to have this one. Then we have um, Elvis, I got this one on a different day. Elvis Presley sings Lieber and Stoller. So Jerry Lieber and Mike Stoller were the ones who wrote some of Elvis's hits like Hound Dog, and Loving You, Jailhouse Rock, Love Me. Um, Trouble, King Creole, um, there's, and there's even some ones I hadn't heard before, like Girls, 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 uh, Dirty, Dirty Feeling, Saved, which was he did in the comeback specials part of the medley, which I've got the DVD of, um, which I've watched. So yeah, nice cover, nice picture, I really like this one. This is a 1980 compilation, and it's on the green label. It has this, uh, this inner sleeve I've recognised a few times because it's on my Potluck and Spinner LP. So, yeah, but that's the label, British record label there. 
RCA International on the green label. So yeah, good to have this one. <clears throat> And this next one record comes from the Salvation Army charity shop. Now they've just started to sell a box of secondhand records which are quite collectible. Some of which I already own, but one week I was flicking for them and this one I didn't have. White Snake, Live in the Heart of the City. This is their 1980 live album. One half of the album is taken from June 1980 the Hammersmith Odeon and the other half is from November 1978, so one of their early concerts and early tours they did. And I've seen White Snake live, I saw them at the Hydro 2022 like I said, but David Coverdale's voice didn't sound great and, I've, and from what I've heard from other people his voice hasn't been sounding great in recent years in the last few years his voice hasn't been too great but you know what can you do he's, he's kind of getting the age where he's getting a bit older you know but um, he sounds great on the records I will say that um, I've got this in CD but I haven't owned it on vinyl and it also comes with an insert as well and it's on United Artists now once I play my sleeve like this one the other LP is the same, so I won't show that, but the first record didn't have its inner sleeve, so I gave it this black one. So yeah, really great to have this one. I was really pleased to find that one for, for in good condition. Um, you don't see White Snake too often in the charity shops these days, but but when I do, sometimes I'll try and pick them up. But when I see a White Snake, sometimes I'll pick it up because it's I know I'm probably not going to see it again. And I knew I'll probably not see this one again, so I thought, let's go for it. No brainer. Next I got on eBay from different sellers, but I got them at the same time on eBay. Elvis, The 56 Sessions Volume 1 and The 56 Sessions Volume 2. These are compilation albums of Elvis's 56 album songs that he recorded and released in the year 1956. These are like the 1956 material. Um, these were released in like the late 70s. They both have great cover art as well. I've seen people get them on YouTube, but I really want to copy them, so I've got them here. This one has a great cover art. These are all the tracks there. Volume 1 is like the first album and the first few RCA singles. It has liner notes and all the recording dates and who plays what in each session. Much the same with Volume 2. Volume 2 is the Love Me Tender EP film. Uh, the other RCA singles in 56. And the second album as well. But Too Much is on there. Too Much was recorded, I think, during the sessions that would produce the second album. But it wasn't released as a single until, I think, 1957 or 56. Either or. I need to do my research into some of these. Uh, I don't. I still don't know a lot about Elvis as I do in the Beatles, but I'll need to try and read my facts, right? <clears throat> they're both on the... Uh, I'll just show one. But they're both on the blue, the blue Elvis label. The thing is with this one, this has a bit of white, I don't know what it is, white marking on it and it had a smudge, a wee smudge at the bottom of the, the record there and I thought well, I don't know, I wasn't too sure about upgrading it or keeping it because I thought I don't know how this is going to affect the playback but I played it, didn't really do anything. I did clean it actually, I did try and clean it see if I could get it off but then I play test it and I'm like, and it played fine. So. Now there's no need to upgrade, it plays fine. Just as long as it plays fine, that's what does it for me. Um, if it was like completely scratched and completely unplayable, I'd have right away probably said, I'm gonna go and get an upgrade, but, did, but it played fine, so I didn't have to worry about anything. Um, okay, good to have that one. 1978, that one. I think this one came out at the same time, volume two. This one is also the same. This one, has, they have great covers, and I really like this, this cover picture. And this is in really great condition. The cover is really shiny and glossy. And the record's in great shape too. So yeah, nice to have that one. Elvis, the 56 Sessions. These next two I got from my soccer drug shop, and these are non-Elvis ones. Beatles 65. This is the German version of the American Beatles 65 album. Uh, which has Beatles for Sale tracks and one from the UK version of A Hard Day's Night. Um, this is on the Odeon label. It's got a nice cover picture of the Beatles with like umbrellas. And I think one of these photos, I think that one was on the Beatles Million Sellers EP um, in the Latin pre next year, uh, Odeon in 65. Uh, this was originally released in the US in 64. So um, 
It's nice to have one of the American Beatles albums. I don't really get much opportunity to buy the American Beatles albums or even a copy of the Beatles American albums because they can be quite difficult to get hold of. But if you can find them on eBay or if you can find them in a record shop or anywhere for a good price, yeah, you do. You can do quite well. Yeah, and I know in some cases I do quite well. Um, so yeah, nice to find this one, Beatles 65. And this Johnny Cash one I've never seen before next. This is Rock Island Line. This is an American import in the shrink. This has some sun material on it. Um, this is on, the cover says it's Pickwick, but the, the record itself is Hilltop. I don't know what that's all about, but I'd never seen this one before. I'd seen it and I thought, yeah, I'll pick it up because he'd had some Johnny Cash items in. And he's had, he's had quite a bit of Johnny Cash in, in recent times, the record shop. So I thought, yeah, I'll pick him up. So yeah, nice to have this one in good condition. In lovely condition, actually, because it's, it's still in the... Still in the shrink wrap, which is nice. Now these next three I'd seen that day, um, but I went back and I thought, yeah, I'll pick them up. And they're free Elvis records, and they're original monos of some of the soundtracks, which is really cool. So the first one up is Girl Happy in mono. Frankie and Johnny. I know some people don't like this one, but this was in really great condition, so I thought I'd pick it up. And the last one, California Holiday. Now I have this one as Spin Out, but this is the UK version of Spin Out, which I thought I would definitely get for collector's purposes. I'll just show you one of the records because they're all on the same label, but they're all in great condition. He also had uh, GI Blues and Blue Hawaii, but I've got both the soundtracks, so I didn't need them. But I was I did think about getting the Blue Hawaii about the GI Blues because my copy was scratched. But I played tested Blue Ho G G GI Blues sounded okay, didn't jump. But, um, so I don't need that one, but uh, I might get Blue Hawaii in case that one skips, because I do have that one and it's not in great shape, so I'll need to wait and see. Um, next one, I went back to Salvation Army recently and I found this one, Ringo Starr, Goodnight Vienna. Now you don't see too many uh, Beatle-related records in the charity shops too often, or even anywhere for that. Aside from records, you don't see them in the charity shops too often, so to find this, this was really a surprise, um, especially a Ringo album as well. And it's got a nice back cover design with the galaxy, the stars, I like that. A uh, nice picture there, ring on the front. Inner sleeve with people and during the making of the album. So there's him and John Lennon, because John Lennon wrote Goodnight Vienna in this album. That's him with Elton John. And there's John Lennon again up there. Uh, who else do I know appears from this album? Uh, Jim Keltner's on this album as well. Jim Keltner's a very famous drummer who played with the Beatles on their solo projects, um, particularly John and George and Ringo. Uh, and he also played with Roy Orbison and Tom Petty as well on occasions. Harry Nilsson's on here as well. So yeah, seems like Ringo was in good company. And there's that album. There's a record, sorry, custom label. Nice to have. I don't own too many Ringo albums, but I'm still always on the lookout for Ringo albums. If I find one for a good price and for a cheap, I'll definitely get them. I do have the single from this album, that was Only You. Um, so, uh, yeah, nice to find that one. Now this next one I bought, I think a different week for my soccer workshop, and this is a completely new one, I've never seen this one before. Johnny Cash, Greatest Hits, The Sun Records Years. This is a 2017 Charlie compilation. Is what it say down the sticker? Half Speed Mastered Limited Edition. Now I don't know what this sounds like, I've not played it yet, but I've never owned a, a um, Half Speed Mastered vinyl before, so this was Quite a nice one to find. It's got a nice cover, nice picture of Johnny in the front. There's the back cover. Um, and there's the inner sleeve. The Johnny Cash Sun box set. Be an interesting one. And there's that one. I have original copies of those two albums, but I've still to find the other ones that are advertised here, but hopefully I'll find them for either originals or reissues for a good price. And there's the Sun label, so on one side you get this, and on the other side you get this. So, on Charlie. Like I say. That's that one. So yeah, there's that one. Nice to have this one. So yeah, I'll give that one a spin and hopefully that'll be sounding fine. And then I found this one in my Johnson charity shop. Didn't expect to find this one. Elvis, the US mail. 
This is a RC Camden compilation, but this is in really good condition. The cover's like very shiny, and the spine is strong as well. But this is in such good shape. I thought 50p for a good price. Yeah, I'll pick it up. So there's that one, the RCA Camden label. I know some songs some, some, some what are what would they would call electronically reprocessed. Just a couple, but I think it's mostly true stereo. But nice to have this one. A nice picture of Elvis from the uh, Aloha satellite special. Yeah, good to have that one. Now these next last ones come from my uh, soccer drug shop, Bar One, which comes from eBay, uh, which we'll touch on later on. But uh, these first two I got from my soccer record shop on the same day, I think on Saturday. Elvis for Everyone. This is a 1965 album, but this is a 80s reissue, because it has the Elvis 50th anniversary sticker on it. This one has a different cover to the American version, and I actually like this cover a bit more than the American version, because it's a picture of Elvis, the RCA dog in it, and even the, some of the album covers as well up there, which is nice. Back it has all the albums here, uh, which I really like, because you can see how uh, far Elvis has come up to that point. The songs on the bottom there. I don't know too many of the songs on here. I'll need to hear this one, but this one, I'm, this is on the Silver and Black label. It'd be yeah, nice to have this one. Um, Elvis for everyone, with a nice cover. Then we have A Date with Elvis. This is the British version that has the 14 tracks on it. I know the US version had 10 and they would change the tracks about on some of the U early UK releases. In particular, the first album, Elvis's Gold Records, for LP fans only, the Loving You soundtrack album, because four were taken off and replaced with eight tracks, so yeah. Back has got 1960 Calendar. This is on the orange label, so this is a late 60s reissue in mono, but it's nice to have this one. And it's got a nice cover picture of Elvis in the front. That was my Saturday finds. I found these two on Tuesday. These are both a couple of the RCA Camden albums. Come on, everybody. And I got lucky. Now, these are both material, some of them out, out films that Elvis made EPs of instead of soundtrack albums. So we've got things in here from Viva Las Vegas, Follow That Dream, Easy Come, Easy Go, and Kid Galahad. So yeah, nice to have this, this album on the RCA International Camden label. Stuck at the bottom. I'm just trying to pick it off. There we go. Yeah, this needed a bit of glue at the bottom, but now it's in really good condition now I fix it. It looks very shiny as well and very nice and white as well, so yeah. And they were for a good price, so I thought you had to pick them up. And I got Lucky's much somewhere. It's got stuff from Easy Come, Easy Go and Follow That Dream and Viva Las Vegas. One of the highlights in this record is a song called I Need Somebody to Lean On from Viva Las Vegas, which I've seen that film of and it's a good film. This again is a UK cover, very nice and shiny. But the record's American, because it's on the Dynaflex thing at the bottom. So, yeah. I know I have a few vinyls like that, but eh, it's nice to have. In great condition and in great shape. Now, this next one is a very special record. This is a Grail record. This is what I've been looking for for a long time on eBay. Very hard to get, but I managed to find one on eBay. Buy it now for a good price. I thought I'd pick it up. I'm going to hold it up. Are you ready? I'm making this the thumbnail, you bet I am. This is the 1968 Comeback Special Soundtrack. Never thought I would own this because I've been looking for a long time and I would find these for like bids on eBay and some coming from another country um, and I just and some, some of the buy nows were usually for a higher price or from another country and I was not willing to pay ridiculous money for it. So I found this on eBay for £6 in good condition, it's a bit worn, but that's okay. It's mono, because that was the only way it ever came out, was mono um, in either country. Um, there's the songs, I've got the DVD, and it's a great watch as well, so yeah. There we go. There's you see, there's the record. The record's actually not in too bad condition for its age. It's a bit of a, a few marks, but I'm sure it'll play fine. But yeah, I was really happy to get hold of this. Really pleased to finally find a copy of it. So yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm hoping I'm, I'll find some of the other rare Elvis compilations that are out there. Like the Essential Elvis Volumes 2 and 3, because I have Volume 1. Uh, and I'm hopefully finding Elvis's Gold Records Volume 5. And I'll hopefully find Elvis' great performances and For the Asking as well. 
Um, so yeah, there's a lot of rare Elvis stuff that I would love to find. Managed to find one though, so if I can find this one, I'm surely going to find the others. So yeah, fabulous find. Really pleased to have this one. Elvis the 1968 Comeback Special. I'll be playing that one later. And the last one is one I got today. The King Creole soundtrack. So this helps complete the 50s side of the discography. There's still a lot from the 60s I'm missing and from the 70s, but I will hopefully find them eventually. This is a 1972 reissue of King Creole in good condition. I've got this on DVD that I showed earlier, so yeah, kind of the soundtrack. Stereo. Well, it's actually electronically reprocessed, so it might not sound the best, but... I know the song's uh, Hard Headed Woman, King Creole, and Trouble. Because they appear in compilation albums, so yeah, that's how I know them. Um, that's the back the songs there. It's even got the original HMV sticker as well, from £1.10 at HMV. So yeah, that's really interesting to find that one there. So there we go, that's Vinyl Update. Vinyl Update 40 done, I hope you all uh, enjoyed this this video and I hope you enjoyed some of the finds I've got. I think I've done well over the last month. Um, so yeah, I think I've done well. Um, I'm definitely going to try and cut back on some of the spending I've done because I do spend quite a lot. Um, so maybe just do it once a week or twice a week or just, you know, just try and reduce it as much as I can. Uh, but my birthday's coming up very in June, so hopefully I'll get more money to go out and spend all that I like. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, um, and I'll see you in the next video.